Ayurveda recommends something called Abhyanga, which is daily massage. There are quite a few different reasons why you'd want to consider practicing Abhyanga, and I thought to list just a few of them for you here. The first reason you'd want to practice Abhyanga is that it's going to help to calm your nerves. So throughout the day, obviously we come into contact with different stressors, different triggers, and so just by massaging our body as we are getting ready to go to bed, it's just gonna to help to decompress and to reduce some of those stressors and calm the nerves. The second reason we'd wanna to consider to do Abhyanga is that it's going to help to increase your alertness and stamina throughout the daytime. By gently massaging our muscles in the evening, it helps to alleviate trapped toxins and to increase our metabolism, which will just help again, make us a little bit more alert and aware the next day. The third reason that you want to do this is that it's going to help to improve your sleep. By getting into a regular nighttime routine, it's teaching your body to prepare itself for sleep. And by massaging our bodies in this preparatory fashion, it just lets us know, it signals that this is gonna be time for sleep. Another reason for Abhyanga is that it just helps to detoxify. And so as we go throughout our life, different things are trapped into our muscles. Lactic acid is one of those. And the process of massaging will help to break that down and release that into our system. So it's also critically important to drink enough water as we are doing this. And so making sure hydration is sufficient throughout the day. And another reason, lastly, we want to practice daily massage is that it's going to have more time for you. So it will allow you to have a little bit better connection with yourself. I'm often promoting the importance of self-care and self-love, and this is just another way to do that. In fact, the word for oil in uh, Ayurveda is sneha, but that also translates to love. And so we are gonna use sneha or oil or fats to help to massage our body, but we're also putting love into ourselves. So these are five great reasons why you'd wanna incorporate Abhyanga into your daily nighttime routine. And just again, any oil will satisfy this need. I prefer things like you could use ghee, coconut oil, but coconut, remember, is gonna be a little bit on the cooling side. So if you tend to be a cold person, you'd wanna stay away from that and maybe tend towards something like sesame oil. But again, this all comes down to different body types. And if you're interested in learning more about that, you could reach out to me or any qualified Ayurvedic practitioner for additional information. Take care and don't forget your daily abhyanga.